I was born and raised in China. I used to play in the farmland and had a very good childhood time there. When I was 16, I immigrated with my parents to the Netherlands. After seven years, I got the first chance to visit my fatherland. Well, that little piece of farmland had changed, and it really shocked me. The rivers and ditches were nasty and stinky. The land was deadly quiet because there were no live animals or insects. It had been badly polluted by overwhelming pesticide usage. So from that time on, an idea has been embedded in my mind that is, find a solution to solve pesticide problem. After I came back to the Netherlands, I started to collect information on pesticide usage. For decades, pesticide has been used in agriculture to prevent disease and to increase crop production, which is a very good thing. But do you know, in the Netherlands, over five million uh, kilograms pesticide is used every year. And for Europe, the used amount is almost 300 million kilograms. The problem is 90%, 90% of this pesticide is wasted into the soil and the water. And this has very negative influence on the environment and the public health. Rare plants and animal species are in danger. This problem is most seen when pesticide is not easily degradable. And this is mainly the case with older synthetic pesticide that still has been used outside Europe today. For instance, DDT is infamous for this. Since it moves through the food chain from insects to insect eaters, such as birds and fishes, and from them to the predators, the concentration of pesticide increases per chain in the food chain. And this process is called biological stacking. In this way, in the end, pesticide reaches the larger predator and the fresh-eating women. Recently, I just read a news on the internet. It said in some regions of China, people eat more than 500 grams pesticide in a year because of overdosage pesticide residue on food. 500 grams pesticide is the same amount of the water from this bottle. Yes, everyone here has this bottle. Imagine that there's no water but pesticide in it. Would you drink it? No. If you have drink it, it's terrible. So when I told this news to my Dutch colleague, they were like, whoa, your Chinese people are very strong because you still walk after eating so much pesticide. <laughs> yes, it is true. But it also points out an important problem caused by over-pesticide usage. It is food safety problem. So we cannot turn a blind eye to the aftermath caused by heavy pesticide usage and pesticide waste. But what is the problem? What caused pesticide waste? When pesticide is applied with water, water does not stick on the plant well. So the majority of the water will drop off the leaves with taking much of pesticide. So a solution might be a product that makes pesticide much thicker. In 2014, my team and I, we started to develop a new pesticide additive that can make pe pesticides thicker. And luckily, we have succeeded. We found a product 
It works as a new additive and with very unique properties. When it dissolves in pesticide, pesticide forms a thin gel layer on the plant after spraying. And this pesticide gel layer covers and sticks extremely well on the plant. It avoids drop-off problem, and it serves as a slow-release system for pesticide. After pesticide has been released, it will degrade biologically. So last year, we have collected a lot of data, and with this new additive, we can enhance pesticide coverage from 40% to above 90%. With this new additive, we can improve pesticide attachment, reduce pesticide waste with 40 to 50 percent on different plant sorts. So in short, this additive improves pe pesticide performance and can cut pesticide usage with at least 50 percent. That's very cool, right? So when I introduced this product to our first customer, that's Dutch flower chrysanthemum companies, all of them love this product. Just within a few weeks, we got commitment of 20 chrysanthemum companies, representing 80% of Dutch chrysanthemum market. This is very cool. And to meet this demand, we're going to sell 20 tons product on an annual basis. We made a very simple calculation. With this amount of product, we can help our chrysanthemum customer reducing almost 20 ton nasty, horrible pesticide waste because of less runoff, saving 70 million liter clean waters because less pesticide usage means less water consumption. We can also help them reducing 10 million euros on pesticide cost. That makes them very happy, of course. So our next step is to launch this product in the vegetables and fruit market. Imagine that, that you can eat vegetables and fruit safely with much, much less pesticide residue on, it, on them. That will be great. And my big dream is to roll out the product internationally, help my fatherland China with pesticide problem. Actually, I was in China last year. I have met several investors and companies. They all like my product. They are willing to help me produce more product and launch the product in the Chinese market. So I really hope, after a few years, when I bring my children back to China and show them that farm their mother used to play, the farm is alive again. They will like it and have a good memory of it. Thank you.